Hey, how you doing? And welcome to Foxumentary part two. In the first video, we discovered a beautiful family of foxes with six healthy kits that moved in just next door to us over there. So more about those in a minute. Now, if you remember, I was able to bring that footage to you through the XS Wireless Lavi microphone, where I was able to position the camera nice and far away from the den, and I was able to talk to you nice and quietly. But what about if you have a situation where you're on set and your talent, i.e. the person you're filming, turns up on set and is wearing an outfit that you can't pin a lavier microphone to. Well, this is where the MKE 600 shotgun microphone, which is positioned just above my head here, comes in great use. So let's get a little catch up with how the foxes are doing. And let's look at a couple of ways in which I use this excellent microphone in everyday shoots. So I want to give you a little demonstration here with how powerful this microphone can be. Right now, it's not connected. It's uh, I'm using the inbuilt microphone on this Zoom recorder box, which is an excellent bit of kit, by the way. Uh, definitely recommend getting the Zoom uh, recording box. But what, are, what about if you really want to be more intentional with the sounds you want to pick up? So right now, I'm just using this, and you can hear a lot of the background noise, some wind, some birds. Now I'm going to switch the microphone on and you can see how much more intentional the recording is when um, you've, you've, you're using the MKE 600. It's uh, fabulous actually because it cuts out all the noise that you don't want to pick up. So if you're recording uh, somebody speaking and you don't want to pick up all the noise around them, this, this is an excellent microphone. And just like if, if you want to do some sound design as well, so if you want to record any elements around you and just that element then this is a, a great setup here to, uh, with the MKE 600 connected into a, a recorder box like this zoom here and uh, and then putting the two together in post i.e putting your video together with the audio after and it really does make a piece a lot more cinematic uh, if you're a lot more intentional um, think a little bit more about the uh, the noise and the audio elements in your video so this is great and I, I love it for this All right, I'm going to give you a little 30 second demonstration of some sound design where I'd use this microphone. Uh, I've come out here to, into the woods with a nice wooden bridge, a river running under it. I'm going to record the elements separately and I'm going to ask you to tell me what you think in the comment section after. Uh, I'm going to compare the two clips where I'm going to just record it in camera with the microphone in camera there and then when I'm going to blend all of the elements together uh, using the audio which I've recorded uh, using the MK600. So here we go. And by the way, it's not going to be anything... Uh, worthy of Hollywood. It's going to be a very simple scene. So now I'm going to record the, uh, the river. So, demonstration done. Now, what about those foxes? So I've been checking the trail cam every few days and uh, there's been actually a couple of surprises which I'm going to share with you now. Mum and Dad have been very active, bring the kits back uh, lots of food. I mean, this one here looks almost certainly like a turkey carcass to me. It's a bit difficult to work out in the dark. Uh, and this one, poor little guy, looks like a squirrel. But the kits are definitely getting bigger and more playful and confident by the day. The other night, they seem to be taking a keen interest in the, uh, the trail cam here. Earlier this week we had a deer in the area, which are pretty common around here. But then, suddenly <coughs> rain, and to my surprise we had a couple of coyotes pay a visit to the den. <coughs> I mean, just look at the size of these things, compared to, you know, even an adult fox, these are huge.
You'd hear the adult fox, probably the mum, trying to disrupt them away in the background. And this is a real big concern, I think, because, uh, you know, if these coyotes had half a chance, they'd take out this entire family of foxes. But they soon moved on, and I think it was uh, one of them was spooked by the little light on my night cam. But then sadly, unfortunately, I, I can see the foxes have just left. They left the other night. I saw them trotting off into the distance, and that was the last I've seen of them. Uh, I haven't seen them on any cameras since, so I'm kind of a bit sad and a bit disappointed that I won't get to enjoy them any longer. But hopefully all six kits made it out of the den. I didn't get to see them. I can only see the, you know, the tail end of the, uh, the crew just kind of going off there in the distance in the night time. But hopefully they'll, they'll live and thrive and have a great life around here and maybe we'll get a couple of them back uh, down in down uh, next door to us next year, hopefully. I did read actually online that foxes, it's around about now, after the, the kits are around about sort of nine, ten weeks that they do leave the den and they start to hunt themselves. But, you know, definitely they've been very active and more confident, so it's probably time for them to move on. Maybe it was the coyote as well that did spook them a little bit and it was definitely time to go. So with the foxes gone, that does leave me now to go and get the equipment. Uh, but I just want to say thanks. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. And I hope you've enjoyed uh, me giving you a little insight into uh, some of the techniques I use to uh, film the beautiful creatures next door and uh, using the microphones for a little bit of sound design. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed um, giving you that insight. And uh, I just want to say thanks. And I also want to finish up here with, a, I think, a little fitting tribute to uh, the family of foxes next door. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this.